welcome back guys to another youtube video it's your boy sam and today what we're doing is we're going to do something like you know how the youtube works and how whenever someone watches your video your view counts increases we're going to do the same thing but this is going to be for your like website and whenever someone loads your website or reloads your website you're going to actually see and you're going to see this number increase and we can also make it decrease but the main purpose is that it should increase and it's a nice thing to have on your website so you can also have your own analytic and actually see how many people are getting into your website so you know what let's get to it so this website right here you will see it down in the description below so you can just click on the link and right here you can see that this api offers a lot of different things but what we really need here is that we want to be able to create our own api key and also have our api name and all that so now for us to create our own api key we're just gonna copy this right here we come right here we paste it and there's some things we need to change for this namespace i'm gonna put sam codes and another thing i'm gonna add an and to it and yeah so i'll put an and and write key because we need a key and the key i'm going to give it as code pen and the value I want it to start at zero. So right here we have a namespace is equal to SAM code. The key is code pen and the value is zero. So you do yours, put whatever you want the namespace to be, whatever you want your key name to be, and where you want it to start. It should start at one, but depending on what you're doing, you never know. And then I click enter. Okay, why this is not working is I've already used this. So I'm gonna change this to just code just pen and some code instead of codes with an s and press enter and now you can see it works so there's a reason i showed you that basically if you create an api and create your own key and all that you cannot reuse it or recreate it so you have to change it so it's good for you to know that too and now we have everything here so i'm just going to show you another thing we can do so right now If we put in this case is some um, code and pen and this you also see it down in the description below this link and we click enter you can see the value is zero so i just want to show you that our value is zero now the way we're going to use it is i'm just going to copy it here this is when you want to update it i'll paste it right here and after update I'm going to put the name that we used, which is Sam Codes, code. And then I also add our API key name, which is pen. And the amount is I want it to be increased by one. We could also increase it by negative five, five and whatever. But in this case, I want it to be incremented by one. This is what we're going to use. But you know what? Now let's get to our code. Let's get back to our code pen and write some more code and just get everything set so we can use the link we just created. I'll start with a p tag. I'll say this page was viewed or we can just even put views here. But depending on what you want, you can always write whatever you want there. So we'll put views. After that, I'll put a H1 to. And the H1, I'm going to put zero inside. That's where we're starting. And I'll give it an ID. The ID is count. After that, we'll add a p tag and then I'll put times. So you're going to say views zero times. Or you can write some more stuff, but depending on you, depending on what you want, you can always change it later. The next thing we'll go to our CSS. And in the CSS, you can see that we have this right here. This is just Google Fonts should know how to do that 
uh, yeah, we just put out Google Fonts. You go to www.google fonts and you'll be able to get this link there. And the next thing we'll just use do some box sizing. Let's say border box. And yep, now we'll go to the body. And for the body, you have a background color. And the background color is going to be 581845. And the color is going to be white. Next thing we have our fonts family, and this too you will get in the Google when you create your when you go to Google to get your fonts. The fonts link below that you'll see this right here where you actually put the fonts family. In this case we'll make put in poppins. And also sans serif. The next one had a flex direction of column and also a display flex. Then we add the sidekicks, align items, not align content, align items, put them to the center, and also justify content, center, and also add a height of 100VH, and a margin of zero. Now for the H1, we'll add a font size and you can do whatever you want for the font size. Just going to make it extra big because we have a lot of space and the margin of zero. Now the P tag, P tag will have a color of RGBA 255, 255, 255, and then 0 0.8, and then letter spacing of two pixel. Now also add a margin of zero. Uh, for this, for sure, you can add more styling if you prefer that. I'm going to actually remove the letter spacing. Oh, it looks better with the letter spacing, so we'll leave it. So you see the difference? There's more space between them. And that's it for the CSS. Now it's time for the JS. And for the JS, we're just going to create a constant of count. element I'll make that equal to document and guess what we're taking now document document dot get element by ID the element we're going to get by ID is count then after that we need to create a function And the function is going to be update. So this function here is just going to basically update whenever we reload by calling our fetch. And that's why we're using this fetch by calling our API. And right here is where we'll put this right here that we have. So copy it. Down below, I'll leave a way where you can easily just make your own API key. Real simple. 
and have this for whatever API key. I will put one there. Because we want it to increase by one. And after that, we'll use the dot then. Let me say res. Use our R function. And this res could be anything. As the results, as my case, JSON. Then dot then res and check out my high order functions and also I have a tutorial on using the dot then when you want to use promises and async await and callbacks so yeah check that out I'll leave a card for that. Then we say constant element, count element dot inner HTML. Inner HTML should be capital. Is equal to res dot value. So basically making sure it updates by changing there. So yep, that's it. I will save it and press control. Control R to run it. Yeah, so now why it's not working is we need to call this function. So right here, I just need to do update because if you create a function, if you don't call it, it's practically useless. So that's why it didn't work. <laughs> update is spelled wrong. So for update, yeah, so now it's spelled right. And you can see it's increasing. So save it and now if we reload changes two to three to four as many times as people get to the websites so what we did right here is that we use this done to get the json version and then we use the second then to actually get the response what we do is we basically add the value of the response to our inner html of this element right here count element which is this right here, which we got from the ID from our HTML. So hopefully that actually explains everything fully. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I know what, that's it for this video. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Give me some video suggestions if you have some things in mind and you know what, this is it for this tutorial. And I will see you guys in the next YouTube video.